Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. For XRP, there isn't much change. I mean, generally at the moment in the market, there isn't really much going on, to be honest. A lot of the updates, a lot of the cryptos don't really deserve an update at the moment because not much is happening, unfortunately. Yeah, For XRP as well, we continue to be in this potential triangle. I mean, there is another option I'm exploring that this could just be a, um, a WXY pattern and we'll move up in the Y wave next. But um, it wouldn't make a difference really in the short term. The only, well, no, it wouldn't really. So generally, you know, as long as we're holding now that wave C low of this potential Elliott wave triangle A B C D E, where wave waves D and E probably haven't happened yet, um, in uh, to to keep this scenario alive, we should hold the forty three point seven cent level. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, even if we drop below that, we could say, all right, maybe this was wave C then. Um, but the triangle will get invalid if we go below the 41.7 cent level. But that's how I see at the moment XRP. Um, my last video, I said that we'll probably find support here at this ascending trend line. We continued to find support, so we haven't broken that level. Um, but also, you know, it doesn't really show a lot of um, strength at the moment to make this wave C happen. I mean, in a, in a triangle, you often see just this ongoing sideways movement, so it's it's not really um, not really you know needed that you need to, to to make a strong move up. But in an, in the end, a wave C is normally an impulse, even though it is a, an impulse in a correction. And at the moment, I don't really see much happen here. So the point here very simply comes down to what what do the price levels say you know which price levels get broken which ones do hold at the moment we are hovering above the 50-day moving average so the 50-day moving average is here at 42.6 cents um, as long as we are staying above that you could say we're at least in a short-term uptrend we can even check where let's just check where the 20-day moving average is i'm just going to change that to 20 here so we can just double check that and um, I'm using the simple day simple moving average yeah and okay so here on the um, on the daily uh, the 20 day moving average we actually below that so we're basically squeezed at the moment between the 50 and the 20 day moving average um, so again that just indicates the indecisiveness of this market doesn't it and um, we are in a triangle in a triangle you're not clearly in a trend anyway so for us it's important now just to see to which direction of the triangle the breakout will be for me we are hovering so for me at the moment it's quite clear that we are just at key support so we either lose it or hold it and if we hold it that is providing us with a possible quite interesting possibly quite interesting um, reward to risk ratio here for a possible long trade but again it's also not high confidence necessarily that it's going to work out from a probability point of view because Again, we're not here clearly in a trend. We are in a triangle and triangles are very, very difficult to trade. Um, it is not a clearly defined range because they contract and sometimes you get still that longer leg down, you know, and um, people get stopped out. So I personally prefer to stay away from triangles myself uh, in terms of trading. Um, for a range trader, it might be interesting, but, you know, it's not what I normally do. Um, but we have pulled back to support next wave up would be ex to, to be expected a wave um, C of D yeah and um, in terms of a target for the wave D you know to calculate that we normally take the length of the wave B of the B wave yeah and we add it to the beginning of the wave um, D and a key target here would be the 51.9 cent level that's the 61.8 percent retracement and uh, no extension of um, wave B yeah, so that would be a key level 51.9 cents from here then we could come down in a wave e find support and then break to the upside of the triangle and reach the area around 78 to 80 cents um, and here we'll have the next decision point then um, so the point is here breakout point to the upside then in the end would be the 55.8 cent level that high now if we break above that then we will most likely move higher um, and it is likely after to happen after another move up and down to finish off the e-wave and you would normally expect to break out to the upside now if that then is a sustainable breakout or really only the wave b complete which would then come down again in a wave c that is what we will then need to see my view at the moment is the price hasn't done enough to justify a really bullish breakout scenario you know a few weeks ago we had all this hype here because we saw a few green candles you, you can see in the end that in the end, you know, not much happened. There was a bit of hype, 
everybody talked about XRP. They uh, people said it's because of SEC or whatever. In the end, since then we've seen like four weeks nearly of sideways movement. So it's not clearly bullish yet. And that's what I've been saying all the time that this is not yet clearly a bullish breakout. This looks at the moment like a lot of indecision still, and I'm not convinced this is already a key breakout pattern. Short term upside still possible, yes, but is it going to take us above a dollar? Not sure. And we'll see, yeah. But at the moment for me, it's it's rather short term upside, yes, and then preferred another leg down. But we'll see. Okay, and that's my update about um, XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.